Hello, I'm Terry McCann, and I'm going to give you a very, very brief history of lean manufacturing. In 1574, King Henry III of France was invited to watch the construction of a complete naval galley from start to finish in less than an hour at the naval arsenal in Venice, established in 1104 to build warships for the Venetian navy. They developed a standardized design for the hundreds of galleys built each year for their naval campaigns in the Mediterranean. They also pioneered the use of interchangeable parts that were assembled using continuous flow along a canal specially designed for their shipbuilding process. Fast forward to 1913, Henry Ford was the first to integrate an entire production process. He combined interchangeable parts with standard work processes at stations along a moving conveyance, creating flow production, as he called it. In 1950, one of the Toyota founders, E.G. Toyoda, paid a three-month visit to observe Ford Motor Plants in Dearborn, Michigan. He came back to Japan and, together with the production manager, Taichi Ono, concluded that the Ford way of mass production would not fit the Japanese market and way of doing things. Over the next 25 years, Toyota developed the Toyota Way, or Toyota Production System, TPS, initially called their just-in-time production system. They were able to eliminate much of the waste that they identified in Ford system, making smaller batches of parts to be used just in time as opposed to stocking large inventory. Toyota also empowered their workers to stop the line when issues and errors occurred and encouraged their workers to propose improvements. In 1988, John Krafchick wrote an article titled Triumph of the Lean Production System. This was the first use of the term lean in this context. Much of the article is an analysis of lessons learned from Ford, Toyota and the GM-Toyota joint venture and a comparison with other auto manufacturers of the time. In 1990, Womack, Roos and Jones popularized lean and its concepts in their book The Machine That Changed the World, which is largely a description of the Toyota production system and its implications for manufacturing. Today, Toyota is still considered the leading model and benchmark for implementation of lean. I'm Terry McCann. Send me an email or click on the link to my website, TCMC Quality Management Services.